Recently, we got a chance to see the revealed trailer of the newest installment of the Marvel vs. Capcom series, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. We saw the beloved Ryu and Mega Man X go toe to toe with the Invincible Iron Man, and um, uh, who is that? Does Marvel have a Super Saiyan? What's going on here? Sadly, no, that's not a Saiyan. She is actually just human. Well, kinda. This may take a second to explain. This is Captain Marvel, Carol Danvers' newest alias, who most may recognize as Miss Marvel. She is one of the heavy hitters in the Marvel Universe who will soon be joining the Marvel Cinematic Universe with her own movie. So it makes sense as to why she's finally appearing in this wildly popular game series. But exactly who is Captain Marvel? This is going to kick off a new video series, where we'll take a look at the new characters in Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, and talk about their origins in their respective universes. Well, Major Carol Danvers was created by Roy Thomas and Jean Colin in 1968 as a security chief and officer in the Air Force. However, she was really just a secondary character in the comics, and was only just a love interest to Dr. Walter Lawson, the original Captain Marvel. However, this changed in 1977 when she survived a cosmic explosion that altered her DNA to be half human and half Kree. The Kree are an advanced super race of aliens with their own empire, history, and a whole lot of other stuff that is by no means important to this video. So yeah, she got half her DNA changed into the same species as Ronan the Accuser from Guardians of the Galaxy. This change in her DNA granted her the power of flight, superhuman strength, extreme durability, and resistance to most toxins. Cause, you know, space DNA. She takes on the name Miss Marvel and becomes a staple in the Marvel Universe, joining forces with the Avengers and sometimes the X-Men to punch some villains in the face. Though she wasn't very popular back in the day, she was really only known as the superhero who got her powers stolen from the X-Men Rogue, and her incredibly problematic storyline with the Avengers villain in Mortis that we frankly do not have time to deconstruct here. It wasn't until the early 2000s that Carol Danvers started to climb the ladders into the big leagues. During the House of M arc, where Scarlet Witch creates an alternate universe where mutants are the ruling class, she made Carol Danvers into one of the most powerful humans on Earth and made her take on the Captain Marvel moniker. Once the House of M story wrapped up and everyone returned back to the proper universe, Miss Marvel decided to try and live up to the title of Captain Marvel and really kicked it into third gear. She then became a main character in almost every big crossover event in the Marvel Universe. She was also the leader of the Mighty Avengers for a short time. In 2012, she officially donned a new costume and properly took on the title of Captain Marvel. She is still considered one of the more powerful heroes in the Marvel Universe and remains a big player in the story arcs, even leading one of the sides in the Civil War II crossover event. Of course, all of this could be completely moot. Yes, I waited until the very end to break that news to you. See, Capcom and Marvel recently stated that the Marvel side of the roster will focus heavily on the Marvel Cinematic Universe. When it comes to the MCU, frankly, we have yet to hear how Carol's origins will be changed, but it is rumored that we'll see her before the Captain Marvel film. Maybe her body won't be infused with Kree DNA. Maybe she'll get her powers from a genie. Again, we literally have no idea at this time. But looking at the trailer for Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, we can still see that she has her powers and is definitely someone you'd rather not trifle with. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed what you saw, be sure to like and subscribe. And be sure to check back when a new character is revealed. We'll have plenty of things to talk about. And for all your tips, tricks, and walkthroughs, be sure to head over to primagames.com.